rolling so in this video i want to go through uh, this lab from the aws s3 section we've done a lot of iam identity and access management videos in previous uh, tutorials or tutorials in previous videos as you can see uh, we've done some of them i haven't done videos on all of them but uh, some of these labs have been completed in previous videos and now when it comes to aws cloud security from attack defense labs which are realistic very realistic scenarios which is why this is the platform that i actually choose when i'm actually training but i mostly like i said in previous videos when it comes to security training i mostly uh, i mostly read documentation and also do uh, cybersecurity research such as bug bounties and penetration testing because I think that um, that's the best way for me to learn st something instead of instead of playing on these websites even so most of the websites uh, that a lot of you are actually playing with are not for me because most of them I find them are very unrealistic and CTF ish I'm saying that because uh, in all my penetration testing and my research I haven't actually encountered um, all the scenarios that you're doing on hacking the boxes and the uh, try hack me's and similar platforms so anyways I want to make sure that we are rolling here okay now what was I saying we were at S3 and this is the challenge sensitive data exposure i think i've already started it but let's see let's do a refresh this says it's an easy one and i also so yeah it started and i also have the walkthrough here uh because like i said in previous videos i don't want to appear that i'm actually knowing what i'm doing here i don't want to waste your time and i don't want to waste my time with these videos so that's why this is a learning experience not a bragging about Ooh, check out my skills okay so in this video s3 is commonly used for storing static resources required by web applications now a little pause here i want to say that i've in my uh, penetration testing and cyber research I found a lot of uh, s3 buckets that have been opened or with uh, misconfigured permissions and I have to say that it, this is a very serious issue that still encounter out there so you might want to be uh, looking this video all the way until the end even though so I've actually peeked a lot into picked a lot into the walkthrough for this uh, challenge and uh, it seems a little bit CTF-ish but not too much so anyway in such cases the static resource will require public read permission so S3 is commonly used for storing static resources required by web applications okay this is very often the case the static resource will require public read permission while providing public read permission to the bucket the bucket policy has to be crafted very carefully in this lab we will take a look at how an s3 bucket used by web application might reveal sensitive information retrieve a sensitive file from the s3 bucket and leverage it to fetch the user details so we have this one here let's actually go to it retrieve a sensitive file from the s3 bucket let's actually look into the source code here we have a custom js that might be interesting but I'm not sure if this is exactly what we should be doing. Let's see if, if we can look into this um, static folder 
or here. So as you can see, we can look into the static resources. We have the scripts. We also have something script back backup sh. And a lot of other files. So if we do dot sh, we have only this one. I also look for not jpg, but um, zip, no zip, tar, tgz, js. We have a couple of them. Now the backup, this is probably the thing that we have to look into. The scripts backup sh. So if we just append that here, it's going to download the sh script if we look into this not like that but let's look into um, it's here let's look into open with let's open it with notepad so you have a uh, X API key back update so this is actually you have the API key this is probably uh, what they want us to find or not let's actually see so what's the requirement again retrieve a sensitive file from the s3 bucket so we retrieved the backup sh which is the sensitive file and leverage it to fetch the user details. Interesting. So let's look into the walkthrough. S3 bucket found. We've seen the backup.sh. So in this case, they're actually using the command line to um get the contents uh, of uh, the scripts let's see if we can actually do that here expected string or bytes object yeah we also need to copy that You have the scripts. You have the backup SH, so AWS has three no sign requests. Let's actually run this. AWS has three no sign request region. Asia Pacific Southeast one copy S3 lab web app static resources scripts backup dot sh and we want to copy it into the present directory. Let's see if it works. Let's now type backup.sh so as you can see it uh, actually run ran successfully and this is the contents as we can see it here this is on the desktop and this is in my uh, present working directory which is users christy now what would be next we found script revealed an API endpoint and API key. It retrieves some information. We have, uh, of course, yeah. So we have the API endpoint. With backup and we have the API key. Now, if we were to run this in curl, you would get the flag. So let's see if you run this. Let's see if we can run this 
here in uh, in Windows. Now let's type backup. It might have been run successfully. It actually, I think it actually did. Yeah. So regardless of the operating system, this command ran successfully. So what I actually did is that I uh, ran this command. I don't have to be in uh, Linux. I could also run it in bash in Windows, but I could just run it in uh, command prompt here in Windows. And as you've seen, it actually ran correctly. And we got the username information and we also had the flag. If we paste the flag here, just copy what's inside the quotes and then um, plug it in the verify flags here it should be verified and that's actually how you might expose sensitive data from um, s3 misconfigured endpoints so let's actually stop this lab and as you've seen here in the aws cloud security s3 there are many more interesting labs uh, when it comes to s3 uh, this is the one that we've just done. I think I did this in the past. I did. I tried this in the past as well. I think I've done a video on this one. And for future videos, we have a lot of stuff to do. And uh, I think this is really exciting because uh, S3 is a very big fish when it comes to misconfigured stuff. So there's a lot of work to do with uh, appropriately configuring and learning about S3 from uh, AWS. All right.